<laughs> look who's by me. This is Terry Johnson. Of course, you've seen her before with the Quirkles. Good to see you again, Terry. You too, Tom. Glad to be here. All right. What are you going to do to oh, me today? What well. are we looking at? <laughs> well, I know you're nervous because of the chair, but I just brought a lot of different the chair right over there. <laughs> science toys. Uh -huh. You know, Fourth of July is over. The kids are kind of getting tired of the pool, so it's kind of time to find different activities. See, this is great science toys because you have like Nerf guns here and and putty and, and right. You know, and it doesn't have to be beakers blaster. and bunts and burgers. That's exactly right, and it doesn't have to be expensive. And <laughs> all of these activities I'm going to show you today can incorporate with our science concepts in our Quirkles book. Okay. But First of all, Tom, I'm going to have to ask you, and we don't want you to break your hip or anything, but I'd, I'd like to ask you. you. <laughs> at two, Terry, while well, you've been talking to Rob. Yeah. I'm going to ask break you to just stand yeah. on and this the chair, chair here. please. And, and I'm going Is there to anyone who can you. help me up? Yeah. Okay, I'm going all right. to give you a bottle of... Ah, you're making, Do I have you to are stand making, up you straight? Are making me nervous. Yes, stand up straight. <laughs> and I'm going to give Tom a bottle of water that Thanks, is thirsty. full and oh, an empty full. no you cannot drink it not yet and an empty bottle okay got now, it so far so good i would like for you to just place the bottle straight out in front of you straight out in front of me and on the and now hold them evenly Okay, they're about yeah, as even as i'll get you know i'm awfully and in shaky this activity you do have to take into account the factor of human air okay so on the count of three, human air <laughs> Which that would be you, Tom. Human carbon <laughs> dioxide. Go All ahead. right. So I would like, on the count of three, okay. I would like for you to drop the bottle. So one, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. Okay. And we're going to see which bottle, the heavier bottle, the one with water, or the lighter bottle, right. lands first. So here we go. One, two, three, drop. See, now the human error was it stuck to my finger. I was going to say, I think that, let's try that again. I, I think we did have some major human error. It did, it did. It stuck to my thumb. Yeah. It stuck it's to like my we thumb. We did not drop. I'm going to try, time, what I'm going to do is hold it like hold it this. Top. Let's try it again. All right. Sir Isaac Newton, <laughs> that would really, he wouldn't like that at all. All right. Well, you've got this one quite a bit higher, Lord. There you go. All right. One, two, three, go. Okay. What did you discover? What I discovered is they hit the ground at the same time. That it didn't correct. make any difference about the weight. That is correct. And That's that one of Newton's law. Newton's law of gravity, that mass and the force of gravity are proportional. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a, the science story is that Galileo was the precursor to that right. when he went on to the, went to the Tower of Pisa and dropped, and well, two balls was, of different yeah. weights. They However, did that on that the moon, as a matter disputed, of fact. So. Well, no, but they did it in the moon because yes. actually what it's supposed to be is in a vacuum. Right. And it was like a feather and a rock, and they both hit the surface of the moon at the same time. Right. The Right. So that's been around forever. But how simple is that to take you all Very into the so. laws of gravity? Now, I think now, we've got about 30, right. 30 40 seconds. I want to show seconds. you, you know, you bring out what we call a blaster, an air blaster, and you think, what in the world, si what could you teach that involves science? Well, actually, this is, this, you could teach air pressure, okay. Newton's third law of motion, what... What uh, every action has a equal, equal and opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. So, I, okay. so let's squeeze it. Right at Rob. No, Rob left us, didn't he? And there you go. Now kids have a lot of fun with these. You can have a target. Uh -huh. So if you uh -oh. squeeze softly, squeeze. it it goes just a little bit. That's but if you right. squeeze hard, it'll go boom. That's right. Because you're equal going to get more reaction. pressure. And there is oh, Rob. Rob. Now take this, Tom, real quickly. These are called Got FLARP. It. You know, what? FLARP. Now, <laughs> that what there you, you go. <laughs> FLARP. Now, I, you know, we won't go into what all the kinds of science that you can teach. We call this but what we really have here is a polymer. Now, you think about. Oh, I'm really. Okay, take it. What we have, what we call FLARP drops. This right. goes with our zany We're science. Our Be quick. You can watch it as the molecule polymer or chains of molecules linked together. Children we don't have try what this we call home. a flarp drop and if you do be sure and don't try it over your parents' couch. All right. So but you can see how much fun that is. Rob, and catch. Last one. Oops. My air blaster. <laughs> so a lot of fun as you're talking about Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. Burning the quirkles. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they have their own website, That's right? That's right, Quirkles.com. Absolutely. Always a lot of fun, Terry. Thanks. It's great to see you, John. Out.